Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb and AvWeb Biz at eBase 2008 in Geneva. We're with Rule Peeper. He's uh, president of uh, E-Turk Aviation and chairman of the board of Eclipse uh, Aircraft. Huge, more than $100 million investment in, in Eclipse uh, uh, earlier this year. How's that looking to you now, Rule? Well, we're very happy with the progress uh, in the company, uh, as, as you uh, probably have read from the, the various uh, statements coming out of the company. The uh, production rate is way up. Uh, we're very close to one airplane uh, a day. The company has produced close to uh, 200 aircraft uh, in the past uh, period. So, you know, from an investment point of view, uh, clearly our target was to show that the, that the product can be built and that it can be built at the right quality. Um, so I think... Uh, while it's not a financial statement, our investment return uh, looks pretty good. Okay, um, you were mentioning earlier in a in a news conference that the uh, the potential for uh, air taxi operations and for uh, for uh, private operations of uh, Eclipse in Europe is is huge, and it's kind of cut into two different different markets. Yeah, we feel that. Uh, uh, you know, if you look at Europe, there's really two reasons uh, why air taxi makes sense. Uh, the further east you go, the more it's about uh, the lack of infrastructure. It's uh, no trains, no roads, uh, and a very, uh, let's say, uh, naive uh, aircraft network with not too many connections. Uh, in the west, you, you see the opposite, where it's uh, crowded, it's busy, long waiting lines, long security checks. Um, so we see reasons uh, for the two extremes uh, in the West, really, for facilitating time efficiency in the East just to get there. And uh, those two together give us opportunities. Uh, as I said, we have a 180 aircraft order, the largest ever in Europe, uh, announced last year. Uh, and we have several uh, other orders, up to 10, uh, maybe not as big as 180, but uh, sizable orders that we think will cover the entire European uh, uh, area. Okay. Um, along with the announcement uh, earlier this year was the the announcement that there would be a, a, a European plant. I understand Russia is the front runner uh, for that. If you can explain a little bit about that. Yeah. Also at the press uh, uh, release meeting here, we announced that uh, uh, in fact both the Canadian government and the U.S. government have uh, officially uh, agreed to. Uh, to export, uh, to provide the export uh, license uh, for this aircraft, and so uh, we are very bullish that uh, within uh, maybe a few months we can announce uh, the uh, the official start of the uh, new factory. And the front runner uh, for for the new factory is at the moment the front runner is uh, the city of uh, Ulyanovsk in uh, Russia. A uh, long tradition in aviation. Uh, many aircraft have been built there. Um, it's a great engineering school, the largest pilot school in Russia. So there's a lot of uh, tradition there and a lot of educated uh, 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 people there that can uh, be part of this new factory. Uh, but until it's done, it's uh, you know not done. So we have uh, a number of alternatives uh, at the moment. Uh, we expect, I would say, within two months to be able to announce uh, the choice. What's the earliest you could be building airplanes in Europe? Um, if we continue uh, the way it is looking uh, in Ulyanovsk, uh, it should be the end of next year. Thanks very much. Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb and AvWeb Biz at uh, eBase 2008.